Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to the start of a brand new campaign series here today on the channel. We're back on the Medieval Kingdom's Total War 1212A D mod. We're going to be playing a new campaign as the Kingdom of England. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, and let me know in the comments, feedback, and suggestions for the series thus far, and where you would like me to expand and conquer. I've got to say a huge thank you to the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 AD mod team for sending me a private access link to the mod and making this Let's Play possible. So a huge thank you to them. So at the time of recording, unfortunately, this campaign is not available to the general public. Now, I've made the decision to play as England, as they're sort of your quintessential medieval faction. I like to think of them as the good guys <laughs> in any medieval campaign. So, we're going to be playing as them here today. There's been a slight update to the mod as well. They've added a new population mechanic, which will restrict our recruiting for nobles and peasantry as such. The Kingdom of England has a population of 92,000, while someone like the Ayubids in the Far East have well over 600,000. So playing as the Kingdom of England, our faction leader is King John, we are Catholic Christianity, here are our faction attributes, we managed to get uh, Empire Lord of our Kingdom and everything subject to our rule wherever it may be. So we get an Archer Law bonus buff, plus two unit experience for archers. We get an English wool industry of 25 wealth from animal husbandry. The Magna Carta gives us a plus two public order from political reform. And we also get a minus one loyalty for kingship there. Initial challenge is very easy. We're on very hard. Our faction strength is uh, exceptional archers. And we've also got uh, faction weaknesses as disloyal no nobles. I do believe we have the Baron Alliance event in this, if I'm not mistaken. So we have currently England, as we see here. We've also got some French territory down here in Aquitaine and Bordeaux. We'll have a look at the army roster for England and see what we're working with as well. Looking at our army build, we're playing as England. It's pretty obvious what they have. It's a very balanced army, very good longbows, and uh, they're exceptional on the campaign. We've got some decent shock infantry here. We've got some decent spears as well. Pole arms, and then we've got our melee infantry, our sergeants, and then English foot knights. Archers wise as well, longbows. Uh, mercenary Welsh longbowmen we might be able to get access to, crossbow infantry, hand gunners. We've also got a lot of melee cavalry as well, and we're not going to be able to hit mortars, because we are, of course, only playing in the early 1212 AD. The late, cam in, uh, the late campaign in 1337 hasn't been released just yet. But regardless, I'll see you guys on the campaign map once we load in. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. Welcome to the England campaign. Well, let's get stuck and right into it. So, we currently have London, Colchester, and Bristol in Anglia under our control. We've also got Nottingham, York, and to make up Mercia, there's Wales there as well. We've also got some territory down in France. It's going to be interesting to see if we can hold on to this in uh, Aquitaine, hold on to Bordeaux, but we'll just have to see. So let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand and conquer. I think for this episode and the first initial episodes, we should secure the British Isles, taking out the Welsh here in Wales, pushing out and knocking out Scotland in Caledonia, claiming Inverness and Edinburgh, and then taking out the Irish in Dublin. Getting control of the British Isles is a pretty important imperative. It's one of the easier sort of regions to defend. Um, there is a land bridge from France to London here that the AI can actually come over from the mainland of Europe to the Isles quite easily. So if we get drawn into a fair few wars in the east, in the Holy Roman Empire, which is possible that could happen. I've also seen sometimes the Spanish AI war deck England and make their way up through Ireland and strike that. That happened a lot in like the vanilla version of Medieval 2 Total War. So we'll go through our diplomacy. Let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand and conquer. Once we deal with the... Uh, British Isles, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. I think we should probably make a play against the French, claiming all their territory under my control. Then we probably go down and hit, say, Toulouse, 
will push over the Pyrenees to Spain. They're dealing with the Iubids, uh, not the Iubids, sorry, the um, uh, Moors, that's it. And they're dealing with the Moors down in the south. So if we can sort of hit them while they're in peak war with them, we might be able to divide and conquer them, maybe even to sort of have a, the enemy of my enemy is my friend with the Moors, sort of trade and get some money with them while we pin to the Spanish and sort of st set up this sort of Western Roman Empire corridor here. And then basically the world is our oyster. We could push into the Holy Roman Empire, potentially further down into the Italian Peninsula. I would like to set up an English state over in the Far East, over in Jerusalem, and help out the the Principality of Aquitaine and the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Diplomacy wise, we currently have a military alliance with the County of Flanders, so we are going to be able to move our troops into France within striking territory. We've also got an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. Now, this might seem a little bit overpowered, but from my experience, the Holy Roman Empire and their vast vassals, it's sort of a 50 50. Sometimes they hold supremacy and keep all their vassals in line. However, I've seen it quite often as well that the vassals split apart and pick apart the Holy Roman Empire. So maybe we should go back to our Saxon roots and maybe try and take some of this territory here for the Anglos. What do you guys think about that? So for now, we'll sort by attitude and try and get as much negotiations with other factions as possible. Trade rights, not aggression. It will take a little while, so I'll skip ahead. Okay, I think I'm done with diplomacy here now. We can have a quick look at our army builds and the unique population mechanic as well. So looking in London, as you can see, we have a total population of 37,000. We have 312 nobility manpower available. We've also got peasantry of 3,000 and foreigners as well. So each individual settlement you have and take has a population mechanic. I know a lot of you guys who play a lot of Medieval 2 like that mechanic a lot. So it's going to make this campaign a little bit harder and flesh it out somewhat as well. Looking at our family tree, what we're working with, I'm currently King John, who is 45. My brother Richard, who is 55, has passed away, along with Henry, my father, who's 70, uh, who's 79. I have a son, Henry, who is five, Richard, who is three, and Joanne, who is two. I have a bastard brother, William, who has a legitimate son, William, as well. So what we want to try and do is make sure our nobles get positions to allow their public order to be quite happy so we'll, we'll try and get that in and we'll, we'll try and increase their loyalty uh, I can't try and make my other nobles happy because my dominion is currently quite low my power is weak so hopefully a civil war doesn't happen but you never know okay Hubert uh, we'll probably send the lower generals in so we'll send you to Anglia We'll send you to Aquitaine and we'll send Robert to Mercia there and we'll go through those edicts in a moment. Looking at our civic, I want to make sure we have a look at our building chain. I think making sure to get capital sanitation is probably our best bet. So to get this sanitation in, we need to go to here, which will take 34 turns to get in. Squalor, pestilence and plague is a pretty big problem in Total War Attila. Um, so we need to focus on that. Army build wise, we currently have a full stack here with William. I would ideally like to give the command to King John if I can. So let's replace this general and give it to King John. And I'll allow this secondary force here to be under the command of my bastard brother, William. Now, how old is William, to be exact? He's 36, and he was actually commanding the main army, which is unfortunate. So we can't bring him in just yet. Okay, looking at our full stack, uh, two units of spears, three units of billmen, two units of English foots, four sergeants, quality longbowmen, and decent cavalry as well. This is going to make mincemeat of the Welsh longbowmen in the west. We've also got another full stack here as well. Unfortunately, in this build of the game, the quick saves don't work. So, as you can see, uh, there might be a lot of pausing, just trying to make sure the quick save works and the hard save as such, because this mod is prone to crashes here and there, especially when I'm recording and whatnot. I don't know what it is. It's just how it is. <laughs> Looking at our construction and recruitment, we can go down and upgrade our castles, 
and our fiefdoms and whatnot, getting access to longbowmen, English knights through this way, spearmen as well. We also can go down the religious route and build a military order building, getting access to hospitalars, templar knights, and templar crossbowmen. So that's definitely an idea as well. So if we can get proper English born and bred soldiers along with some crusaders, we'll be able to dominate the world. Okay, just sort of looking at how London and England is set up here for now in the south. Upgrading to a large city will give us the access of longbowmen, which is quite crucial. I also wouldn't mind converting this Catholic Church eventually to a military order priory so we can get some of the earlier Templar units. The library is good for now, but I kind of want to get a sanitation building eventually. Fairground probably can be changed as well. Noble Demise is fine for now. Switching this to a Catholic Priory will give us wine and sanitation from the get-go. And we want to try and upgrade our port as well. So there's no reason why we can't try and push against the Welsh pretty early on here today. Pushing north is probably our best bet through here. What's to go in Nottingham? We've got a salt deposit here and we've got iron in London. My apology guys, Coffin and Skarkin over here. Right, yeah, getting iron, it's a unique resource. We can unlock certain units and upgrades through that, so we definitely want to try and gain access to this. And there's also salt there in Nottingham as well. Public order wise, we're going to be fine. We're quite homogenous at the time. So we'll try and move our armies further to Wales. We'll sit on the border here and probably strike them. 11 units there. And in the garrison there, just a lot of longbowmen as well. Trade wise, we're doing quite well. We're producing wine and importing it. We've got trade rights already from the get go. I didn't even have to do these with Portugal, the Kingdom of Castile, Aragon. Scotland, Toulouse, Ireland, Upstalsblum, and yeah, okay. Decisions wise as well, find, found an empire, 18 regions. I guess we become the English Empire. So without further ado, let's end the turn and continue. Oh, before we do that, we've got some goddamn edicts to go through. What do I want to do? There's a couple of options here. We can go with improved tax rates, but it's minus to public order. Or we can go with growth, agriculture... Commerce. I think we're better off going down this sort of maritime trade route where we can as well. We've also... How big's the garrison here in Bordeaux? It's quite large. There might not be a... It might not be a bad idea just to bring in an army just in case. We can get four. There's no reason why we can't sort of hold on because we get 2,000 per turn in Bordeaux and it's our main trade. Um, with those, with that wine. So if we can get some more, I nearly forgot about it, to be honest. We, we, we can let it go if we want to, but if we can hold on to the city, it's probably not a bad idea. There's a quite a large garrison in there, so we've got to watch out for Toulouse and France in Orleans. So we'll build up a defensive garrison, controlling, and then we've got the actual garrison inside as well. Okay, well, let's end the turn and continue in this cold, miserable, rainy isle, but the Welsh are coming. Okay, so already from the get-go, the Holy Roman Empire has declared war upon the Duchy of Bavaria, kicking off their wars. They're going to bring in the Republic of Pisa. I'm going to decline and break the alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. I want to focus on the British Isles. If I do go to war with Pisa, that adds another war. Once we go to Wales, it could show the other AI factions as a sign of weakness and they could sort of just jump on us with the amount of wars we have so I don't particularly want to do that I will decree here as well we we'll use political favors the fate oh here we go whispers have alerted the king that the nobots are conspiring thinking him weak the king of England must prove his worth and return prestige to the English crown Fra oh no, France has inflicted great death, uh, defeats rather, on our dynasty in the recent years. Blah, 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 blah. Returning the favour would quell these rebellions. To arms, war with France. Oh no! The consequences of your choice are not yet clear. To arms, there will be no war. Oh, do we give in to political pressure and the barons? What do we do? Look, you know what? 
You've got to risk it for the biscuit. We go to war with France. Let's march south. I reckon that's what the majority of you guys would like to see. Okay, let's go to war with France. The king has spoken, and we are now at war. Luckily, I built those units there quick, fast. So, my preemptive strike on the Welsh has come to a quick halt. We are now at war with France. All right, well, let's push down here. Like I said, there is a land bridge, so we're going to be able to push over here. And I would like to potentially negotiate with Flanders and a couple of my allies to try and come in. Okay, let's dive into diplomacy then. So, Flanders. Can I have military access? No, they don't want it. So we have to, might have to go amphibiously to France. We are at war with Burgundy as well. We'll try and get some military alliances just to sweeten things on our side. No, they're not interested. Yeah, I, we might not be able to get any now, which is unfortunate. Okay, I guess we can look at France. So, it's about a 50-50. They have four regions. We have a lot more. They've got Burgundy on side, so trying to push over there as quickly as possible. So what's the best way to go there? We might just go on a straight up forced march with the king. So we have to double back. We'll bring in my brother as well into this. Yep, so it's this William. He's 36. Ah, yeah. Okay, but he's not my heir. That's fine. Alright, it might keep him happy if he's the heir, though. Okay, so we're going to have to wait a turn here. Force March isn't going to really make much of a difference. So let's straight up try and bring... Oh, it takes two turns to bring in sergeants. Can anything come within one turn? No, it can't. That's unfortunate then. Well, you just need to get ready to go with the king. I think we've got enough forces there to push south. We've also got a small presence here as well to go against the French. I'm going to raise a fourth army here in Nottingham just to be cautious. You know what I mean? Seenings we're going to be essentially abandoning the Isles for quite some time. There's no harm in bringing in just some additional forces. We don't want Scotland nor Wales or Ireland to sort of come up against us. So, in Francia, they have Leon, Paris, and Normandy there. We'll hold here as well. Alright, so we've got an early war against the French. It's going to be interesting to see how everything shapes up. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. All right, the Fifth Crusade has been called, of course, and we've got a mission issued. Reconquest of Normandy. I forgot how many scripts and sort of events there are for this English campaign. It's really quite cool. Okay, a great shame has befallen the house as the former baston of Norman kings of England. Normandy has fallen to the French at the hands uh, during the tenure of King John. Okay, so we need to take back Normandy. Normandy must be retaken. I own the city in, in uh, Normandy. Four turns there. Reconquest of Normandy. So that gives us two plus loyalty to all characters. And we also get a banner, which is cool. Alrighty, well, let's make the conquest known. I'm going to try and negotiate with Flanders to try and get military access. I, I'm happy to give you even a bit of a payment, to be honest. It just makes it a lot easier for us, rather than trying to go for an amphibious attack. Crossing their border is not the best thing to do, but it does make things a lot safer for the crossing. We don't have to go for an amphibious fight, so two, yeah. I'm tempted just to do it, just to move through their lands without... Um, military access. This should be fine. Alright, London. There's a fair few buildings we can eventually do as well, but we need to get our military recruitment on track, especially in the north, to deter anyone else coming in. Okay, so it looks like the French have pushed to the border here in Bordeaux. 11 units. One unit of French Heavy Shock Cavalry. They've got some of their own decent archers and swordsmen. And there's also another unit there behind as well. So, let's continue up with our recruitment. Maybe even trying to bring in some billmen as well, just to mix things up. But we should be able to make a pretty decent stand at Bordeaux, and they're probably going to smash upon the city like water on rock. 
But we also do have enough finances to bring in a priest. So I'm tempted to bring in Priest Michael here. Just to give us a little bit of line of sight as we push down through England. And we'll quickly dive back into diplomacy again. Okay, well, let's end the turn and continue. So when you guys finally get a, a chance to play this campaign, you get to sort of decide your own political events. Would you have sided with the nobles and the barons into going to war with France? Or should we have secured the British Isles? I guess only time will tell. I think we'll be right. We've got pretty good non-aggression packs, trade rights as well. Oh, Upstahl's Bloom has made... They're not aggression pack null and void with us. They've broken it. Great. Wavering loyalty as well. We can't try and secure it, but maybe just giving positions. Not necessarily giving them command of armies. Okay, so we're in Flanders for now. What does this other army have? We can make it a little bit more superior, I think. So we'll move you here as far as we can. And we'll keep William here as reinforcements. I guess we'll just have to go force march then. So I'll try and tweak King John's army build as well. So plenty of cavalry. We can get rid of these billmen and chuck in all these knights probably. Tunis of spears. Uh, probably drop one unit of archers nearly as there's more than likely going to be a siege. I think we're better off to do that, to be honest. Yep, and then the rest has most of the billmen. That's a lot more formidable. Four English foot knights and sergeants. It's currently winter as well, so we're going to have to winter here in Normandy. That's fine. And it does look like the French king, Philippe, has managed to push up as well. And they don't seem to be pushing here against me in Bordeaux, which is, look, fine by me. If they want to sit back, relax, and allow us to continue to build up in Bordeaux and push the siege, I'm happy with that. We'll eventually get Priest Michael to push down to London as well. And further reinforcements are coming up here. Yeah, Scotland does have a decent army. Look, if they united against me, they'd definitely be able to push me, but it doesn't look like they're going to. Okay, let's end the turn and continue once more and try and take Normandy back for the English throne. Doesn't look like the French are pushing against me in the north. They wanted to target and eliminate their flank in Bordeaux. But a defensive siege. We've got everything going for us. Catapults, garrison, walled city. Bordeaux can be incredibly exposed through a naval attack. Oh, the Pope has called a crusade for Cairo, calling upon all righteous Christians to take up the cross. I was wondering what this event was. It panned in on Normandy. Yeah, but in regards to to Bordeaux, especially in like Rome 2 and Attila, if you can get a decent lot of fleets, you can quite expose this. So, His Holiness hopes that the reconquest of Egypt will provide a staging ground to retake the rest of the Holy Land for Christianity. So we can already see that Cairo and Jerusalem are still under Ayyubid control. Pretty early on. You kind of want the uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem and Antioch to try and push against the Ayyubids, but no matter. The choice befells to you should you participate in the crusade and gain the Pope's favour. Well, obviously the crusade is still bugged for now, which is unfortunate, but I really like where they're going for this the crusade for Cairo. Now, if I actually go on crusade, we can probably use those buffs and movement speed against the French, to be honest. They are moving into position. Whoa, why have they taken some casualties there? Foreign territory, maybe? I haven't hit anyone. Why is the... Who are the French at war with? Ah, Toulouse. Toulouse, Flanders, England. I reckon Toulouse has hit them there. Hang on, do you want some sort of negotiations, mein Freund? No. So that's heavily smashed, that secondary army. Man, if we had a proper night fighter, we'd probably be able to go and push in against them. Oh my god, this army in Bordeaux is just sitting so easily.
Okay, well, I think we'll essentially go on Crusade. Send this army on Crusade. What's meant to properly happen is that if you fail the Crusade, you're meant to get uh, excommunicated. Excommunicado! I just watched the new <laughs> John Wick. I quite liked it. It was good. One of my favourite sort of trilogy of action movies, John Wick. I recommend it. So, unfortunately, the French have, yeah, they've been quite smashed there, so they're probably not going to come out against us. Like I said, if we had Night Fighter, we'd actually be able to, this is a really good opportunity to kill the English King, but the Hundred Years War is sort of in full effect, I guess. So we'll send this army on Crusade as well. We're going to get crazy movement now, which is awesome. So we're going to push into Normandy here now. And hopefully take our first settlement from the French. We'll move in. Oh, okay. We want to watch out for the river there. So we can't attack in one turn. We're going to have to bring in some siege equipment. That's fine. How long? It's going to take quite some time, that. All right. Let's go with the battering ram first up. So what are the French... Uh, currently using. So two units of spears, swords, some heavier archers as well, crossbows, and cavalry. We should be able to make quick work of this. Right, you can push further south as well. Continue with your recruitment up north, up north, and uh, we'll hold this here as well. I'm just looking building-wise what we're probably best to break down. Probably getting that minus 10 here. I think we're better better off to break down the library, burn the books, rather than the fairground. So we'll bring in a an iron mine eventually, and Nottingham. We're not even using the salt deposit here as well. Minus corruption. Probably should break that down as well, and get a salt mine in. We just need to use our resources. So we're currently besieging here in Normandy, and... It's going to be interesting to see how the French sort of react to this. Do they push against Bordeaux? They want a peace treaty! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, King Philip. It's just because you've been war decked by Toulouse. Flanders hasn't done anything, and I'm putting the pressure on you. Uh, no. We say no. Wow, they are just hanging out in Bordeaux here. With three full stacks. That's interesting. They're sitting out in the open. The Ubers win out at war with as well, so there's no need to worry about them. Yeah, Toulouse, I guess, sort of hitting lightning raids and strikes into into Bordeaux. That's what's sort of going on. All right, wavering, wavering loyalty still, and the Fifth Crusade mission issued. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. So the French are sitting outside with three full stacks. I guess they're calculating that they realistically can't push it, and... Uh, I guess just try and finish and sweeten this off here. There's no way they're going to probably be able to take us. All right. Up in the north here now. Oh, what a, what's that? Oh, okay. So we're currently dealing with the French here in Normandy. But what is this? Vikings off the coast. Oh, typical. Where are the goddamn Norwegians? Non-aggression, please. Oh, piss off. A full stack of Vikings has come off the coast here. Well, I guess I'll immediately swing you down to Colchester to protect East Anglia. We don't want another Danelaw rocking up here. And let's go with some more sergeants eventually as well. I was nearly tempted to push you further north to Scotland. Because that was a problem we had to deal with as well. We'll continue to break this down. We need to get those deposits in as well. Those resource. <clears throat> Man. That's so unlucky <laughs> that we've spotted Vikings off the coast there. I wouldn't be surprised if they attack us, to be honest. As we are at war with a fair few factions. Alright, let's have a look at... Normandy, so what's the siege looking like? Getting some ladders as well will just make things a little bit easier. I don't want to auto-resolve this one out because I probably want to play it. Alright, so we'll build another piece of siege equipment. We've only got one. We might even need to double back with an army as well, so that's alright. 
Okay, and we'll see if the French uh, come out against us as well. Four turns before that can be built. Yeah, so let's just straight up in the turn and continue while we go for some quick unassigned skills. On second thought, we might actually have to deal with Normandy here today, this turn, because... Yeah, 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 Reconquest of Normandy, own the region in the north, yeah. So we've got one turn, so it actually eclipses one turn. Ah, that's a shame. Turns, yeah, why does it say one turn there? But it says 20 there. Hmm, that's odd. Alright, so it looks like the AI is trying to force me into this siege, which is kind of a bit of a pain. Because, a couple of things here. I wanted to give it one more turn to get another unit of ladders, just to make the siege easier on me. But with one battering ram, we're going to get funneled into a choke point. And those arrow towers are absolutely going to rain fire and death upon us. F attacking with one piece of siege equipment, especially a ram, is foolish. I was better off to go with ladders, actually, but I've made the mistake of going with rams. It's because I got forced in. You usually want to go with a ram and then a ladder. But, instead of playing this one, which I wanted to do, but I'm just going to take way too many casualties if I actually play it. So I'm going to have to auto-resolve this siege in the north, just because of the time constraints on the objective, which is a shame. We'll, we'll still try and get a battle against the French here today. So we're going to order resolve this one out. Look, if you're going to hamstring me into a timed mission, I'm not going to lose thousands of English lives doing it. So we have 4,340 to their 1.6. Let's order resolve this one out. King John will retake Normandy. Yeah, because there's no way we can break down the walls because we haven't got decent axemen. Uh, we also can't, like, grapple up over, over either. So we lost 714. We would have lost probably double that, maybe even a thousand. We lost one unit of English foot knights, which is a shame, but it's... It's fine. And uh, we'll take Normandy here now with a straight uh, up occupy. We've still got to keep an eye on that force in the north there. And those Norwegians. Mm, I don't like the look of them. Alright, let's uh, repair where we can here as well. And then I guess we'll see how the uh, French AI in the south reacts to that. Okay, let's end the turn and continue. Yeah, I'm interested to see how the French are going to react here. Flanders wants to have a trade agreement with me. That's fine. I'm surprised they wanted... Jesus, Fern... Ferdinand, that's a hell of a helmet you've got rocking there. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Stupid, sexy Flanders. Yeah, so we'll get a trade agreement with them. Now that we have Normandy, we can go through the coast quite safe. Going for an amphibious attack would have been a pain. But it looks like the Norwegians have left us for now. And it looks like the French haven't dealt with us in Normandy, nor in Bordeaux. Wavering loyalties there with Robert. The mission has failed? What? Oh, maybe this is bugged as well. A great shame has befallen the house. The mission deadline has eclipsed. We took it that turn. Oh, come on. The reconquest of Normandy has failed. Hmm. I don't know why it's gone and done that. No matter, so be it. Alright, let's push for Paris in one more turn, I guess. So it seems to be relatively undefended. Is there any armies in Orleans we need to be worried about? They still just seem to be hanging out in our territory. Not overly doing too much, and we've basically got a massive scrappy stack there, which is definitely <laughs> usable. Alright, we can get this iron mine built here, and we also can get this salt mine built here in Nottingham as well. We've got that recruitment coming along as well. Can we raise an additional force? No. And I don't know where the Nor- Ah, oh, they moved into the Netherlands there. Okay. Yeah, the King's Vanguard. Oh, they've gone away from us, which is fantastic. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. So, it looks like the... Yeah, the French just seem to be pinned down here with my full stack. Oh, well. No matter, we're going to be able to gobble up the rest of the country with King John regardless. So, let's push into Paris here now. Maybe with the 
the city are low under siege it could sort of spur them into an attack I'm not entirely sure all right let's push this further down south as well that's fine here for now you're still continuing up on your recruitment uh, maybe just getting in some archers here as well it's probably a smart idea okay the iron mines gonna be building one more turn along with the salt mine as well Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. The French have bamboozled us here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, there was a slight n uh, notification here. Yeah, the Just Conquerors, Allegiance Toulouse, have trespassed near Bordeaux. So, I don't know, yeah, if Toulouse is just going to smash those three armies or what's happened. I'm going to have to get my priest to come down here and have a look. But they have just... <laughs> They've just disappeared. Yeah, their, their strength ranking has been shot a bit, but King Philip is still alive. But I, I have a feeling that Toulouse has been relentless against them pretty early on. And we really haven't seen the most of it. Because they were coming down to hit me here in Bordeaux. And then, and then they got, like, smashed. So this army here... Yeah, I don't know where they've gone and... They've gone. I can come back. I just want to have a bit of a sneak peek if I can see anyone. Oh, yeah, there they are. There they are. Ah. So, one army might have been defeated. We... Oh, we can't actually get back to Bordeaux. We can on a force march. Ah, so that's where that is. Good. It was actually good getting that minor intelligence there. Okay. Well, we've got the Siege of Paris currently underway. And, look, we haven't had a battle in today's episode, so I think, yeah, the auto resolve is still bugged. It's such a sh fucking shame. Yep, sendings, we haven't had a battle here today. We'll play the Siege of Paris. Okay, two units of spears, two units of, these seem to be like axemen early. Two units of crossbowmen, uh, slightly heavily armoured, and some light armour ones as well. Alrighty, just having a quick look at the auto resolve. We have 4,660 against their 1.6. One unit of uh, battering rams and one unit of siege ladders as well. Alright, let's get stuck into the Battle of Paris, 1214 AD. Okay guys, welcome to the battle map. It's a dry day, but there seems to be a fog looming over the city. And let's start the deployment, we'll get rid of that. Okay, so what are we working with? Two units of siege towers there. Oh, okay. There seems to be a bit of an opening furthermore on this far side. That lacks a lot of watchtowers there. We also can deploy some of our cavalry. I don't know straight away, but we can... I'm assuming... Yeah, there's a land bridge here. We can get some of our cavalry to circumnavigate the city and go all the way around here and try and push that bridge is probably not a bad idea. Instead of going straight up through here on this frontal assault, I think we're better off to push this way, just because of the RNG on the arrow towers there. So what we'll do is we'll try and put men-at-arms here. Uh, let's probably get you here as well, so you can drop that. Let's get the better units that are slightly heavier armoured and have more combat efficiency. So you can go straight through the guts there. Uh, my other battering ram... Look, we can push to this. Just to sort of tear and distract some of the enemy. It might be a good idea. While the rest try and pincer and push this way. So these guys need to be on arrow towers. I don't know why they put some of the weaker units on the siege equipment. Because I personally prefer to try and get the strongest if we can. So we'll try and get you to go like here, say. You can go there, you can go there, and then you can go like here as well. Okay, battering ram wise. So we'll, we'll leave you here. The rest of our reinforcements can sit somewhere here. We're not going to be too aggressive from the off. We want to try and skirmish the enemy out as best as we can. Loose formation. Uh, there were, I think, standard shots probably our best bet now thinking about it. So we'll try and move you guys here. We'll move you here and try and skirmish where we can. Probably try and anger you slightly more to the left there. And we'll move the king here as well. 
and we'll try and leave it something like this. Alrighty, let's quickly start the battle. Pause and meet the English units for the first time. Here we have King John the Terrible. Soon to be a great, bringing the European Union into the fold. <laughs> well, the uh, the, Br the uh, European continent, I guess. So here are our soldiers, of course. Heavily armoured English knights. Longbowmen, keen and ready to go. Let's have a look at this smaller force with the battering ram here. English nobles. Ready to fight. My second battering ram further on this side. Housed by English men-at-arms. And then we've got our Royal Household Cavalry. And just some standard English Knights here and there as well. And they're going to be pushing around and hopefully taking the bridge. The catapults have been deployed on that side as well. So we need to get you guys here because there is no wall protecting them. Okay, well, let's quickly give out and divvy up the orders. Orders. Alright, let's, uh, yes, let's stick you there. Let's, uh, actually, uh, that can hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the battering rams to push up. That's fine. But for the siege towers, I think we will just wait until we skirmish this out. Alright, let's quickly unpause. Move you up into a better position. So, what's going on here? They've moved crossbowmen, billmen and the such there. What about everyone else? My reinforcements are coming from this left-hand side as well with my bastard brother, King William, or Prince William, rather. He's now come in. Okay, well, Seenings, there's a lot of crossbows there. I'm not going to risk probably bringing you in just yet. And it looks like, unfortunately, there isn't sort of enough units there, so you can fall this way. There's no one hanging out here, so we might be better off just to push then. And go for it if no one's going to sit there and stop us. So let's push up and over there. Alright. You can go for this. You can go for that. Alright. How's our cavalry doing? They're slowly but surely making their way across the River Sen. I'm going to push through the open bridge. Okay. So what's happening over here, this side? We do have some of our own cavalry that they're probably not going to come in. What we can do is we can move these guys here, move you here as well, and we'll go with my archers on a loose shot and try and get you down here as well. Alright, try and target it and, and skirmish these guys out. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame no one deployed there, but we're going to be able to push in quite convincingly, which is good, I guess. And we're going to be able to push these guys well, oh, except for the archers, well and truly higher up. Alright, that's still going there. We're going to cop some small arrow fire there, but that's fine. Alright, the battering ram's now pushing up. Alright, and our reinforcements are coming here as well. Alright, how far are my cavalry away from actually trying to take this? Because I'm tempted to charge them straight up and in, to be honest. Go straight through the, through the guts. What is that sound? The village is there, absolutely terrified. English! It's the goddamn English! <laughs> Screaming across the bridge. Now, ideally for them, the unit of spears should be there. Oh, wow, these guys are not looking very good as well. Whoa, 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 what the fuck, man? I guess they routed? Why did they stop? Alright, send one unit to peel left. Why has that gone and happened? <sighs> Alright. Send that there. You two can come this way into the garrison because there were archers somewhere. 
All right, you need to deal with this. You need to hit this at least. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on there, because I'm giving them the order and they keep on dropping off it. Which is strange. Right, we're dealing with them well. You push here, then, and you push that. Those towers have been taken. Push into the town square. Whoa, really? I guess that must have been a venomous volley there. You push for this, you push for that. You go for the town square. They're now pushing up and over. This um, attack on the ram is just not working for whatever reason. Alright. Try and get your cycle charges going up on here now. Okay. So we can give out the order of these guys as well now to get up and over. Yeah, wow. Okay, I'm surprised that that's happened. I don't know why. That's so odd. Make sure you focus on this. You can go hit this. Along with that, you can push down here as well. Alright. Let's make sure we try and cycle charge this a bit. Instead of sitting in combat with them. Okay, so it looks like we're capping the town square quite well. Yeah, dude, our cavalry's breaking as they're turning. Those crossbowmen must have crazy armor piercing there. And these towers as well. Wow, I'm really quite surprised about that. Continue to hit this. My swordsmen are making ground here, but we've nearly captured the main square. Yeah, it's just the arrow towers, I think, man. Alright, continue to push this away. That gateway is still dragging a lot of them away. Alright, well, let's send a couple of these guys down here, then. Yeah, so that's been a bit fruitless pushing from that far side. Oh well, no matter. If you swing this way, you'll be fine eventually. Continue to focus that out. Send proper swordsmen there. Yeah, my cat. Why are my cavalry so shit? I thought that'd be rather formidable, to be honest. Oh, well, you live and learn. Alright, try and push into something like this. That's now routing. Swing down into this. Swing further reinforcements down here. Alright. Yeah, it's just the arrow towers, man. I think that's what's going on. They are just absolutely cutting through us. Like a hot knife and butter. Alright, we need to pull these guys here then. They've got cavalry. Ah, oh, shit. They've got guys coming into cap. Yeah, medium crossbowmen seem to be holding their own. Spearmen have now come in to stop the cap. Look, we can somehow pincer them somehow. Move here. You move here. That's now being capped. Swing down there to help. We might be able to get them. Come here, please. Like, what are you doing? Now swing that from the side might help. They're now broken. Swing here. That needs to be hitting this way. At least one unit needs to be capping there. That's failed, so you can push back. Yeah, now try and get these spearmen surrounded by all sides. We should be able to buckle them. I can't wait to see the casualties sustained and casualties inflicted. Four archers. Because I reckon we're going to be massively surprised here. So, it looks like... Armor piercing for us is one of our major weaknesses. Okay, that's now been surrounded and capped. Okay, make sure we've got... Yeah, make sure you've got... Yeah, push into this, actually, that's coming in. That's all right there, that's fine. All right, these reinforcements are coming. We've got a couple guys here hitting, sitting idly by. You could swing this way around, that would be better. You're actually hitting the back of that, which is not too bad, to be honest. Okay, that's been capped. Probably go down and deal with that. And somehow make your way to this town square. 
All right, we're going to get a good charge here around the back of that. We've got some cavalry holding them from the front. Yeah, but what? what? I guess their crossbows are just armor piercing as well. So a couple of decent volleys have really shook us there. All right, that can go there. Didn't I tell you to go out? Like, just get out of there. I swear some of the orders in this aren't responsive. Alright, that's now gone, which is good. Try and stop and hit that. And we'll try and now get our cavalry to push around the back. Alright, these archers here can trickle and hit the retreaters. And make sure you cap this now properly. Alright. Now hit this from behind, please. Give them hell. Because we've got a lot of guys pinned down here. In hand-to-hand -hand combat. Cavalry coming in. Should help out. God, those... Look at these arrow towers, man. They are relentless early on in the game. You desperately need... To at least siege it out for a couple turns. I'll have catapults to break that down. Okay, so we've initiated the countdown now. And some of my troops are slowly coming in. Victory! We have victory! Jesus Christ, let's end that one there. Decisive. 4,660. We lost 508. They deployed 1,600. So, we lost about... Yeah, okay, we lost a lot less than what I sort of thought. Just a lot of our guys started buckling. We might have lost a unit of English heavies there, which is a shame. Looking at the casualties inflicted and casualties sustained. So, how many did they do? 130. We'll round that up to like 210. 230. 250. 260. Maybe about 300. Maybe, maybe it was their crossbowmen. Those armor piercing, they just had really good angles on me. Heavy shot. Raining of fire and death from my flanks. I could see that. I could see that. Just a lot of armor piercing. I think that's what sort of surprised me about how quickly our guys were buckling. Looking at our own men, uh, my cavalry did really well. 350, 114, 166. Archers, 110 and 50. My men at arms, not going to lie, a little bit lackluster. Okay, guys, welcome back to the campaign map. We have taken Paris. Paris. Instead of Luton occupying the city, which seems awfully um, enticing for the 6,000 gold, I'm going to straight up occupy because at the end of the day, they are a Christian Western nation and we don't want to piss off Mr. Popey too much. So looking at these buildings, probably can break down that. There's a lot of maintenance, the Catholic Basilica. And we'll keep the fairgrounds. We'll probably break down the library. I want to try and repair the main square if we can. Oh, but it's not going to be. Okay, cool. Right, so we'll move William down to Orleans. And then that must be, if not, the second last settlement for the French. Further south. That army's still lurking there. Alright, pushing further north. I've moved John to Nottingham. Just to hang out in York, as we still need to keep an eye on our British Isle neighbours. And where does that leave France now? Only two territories there with Philip. Alrighty, let's uh, end the turn and continue. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. It looks like the French army has moved out somewhere that we can't see. Let's try and stick our beaks down here. Okay, there's an army there. Um... Let's have a look at diplomacy, actually. Philip's still alive. Uh, there was no other sort of notifications that, like, Toulouse has hit them again. Toulouse has just been smashing them in this series. Right, we can push for all leans now, and we can take it in one turn as well. Man, oh man, they've just been sort of unlucky. We've been pushing them in the north while they've been whittled away in the south by Toulouse. We've taken all leans now as well. And we'll try and get the king, King John, to besiege Lyon. And then we'll probably try and set up a bit of a defensive pact here in these cities. Because at the end of the day, we don't really need to push against the French overly. Yeah, we can't actually... 
Hang on, can I negotiate with Toulouse? Can you give me military access by any chance? Defensive Alliance? No, because you're probably next on the hit list, to be perfectly honest. Actually, there were some trade agreements there. We probably could pursue... Bologna. High for non-aggression. Oh, perfect. We can get some of these done then. Pisa want trade right for non-aggression. What about some of the other French counties? They're not interested. The Al Mohad pretenders, they're not interested as well. But it looks like the Iberian Alliance is coming up well. Alrighty, so I guess we sit here. I don't know what the French are going to do here. We're sieging them out here in Leon. We'll try to repair where we can here as well. Okay, let's give it another end turn because we're about to take out France. We're about to take all their territory. They've still got a fair few armies, I'm assuming. But overall, yeah, they are massively on the back foot. She's nearly all over Red Rover for the French. Yeah, I just saw a little bit of an, a UI glitch there. It looks like they've actually... Oh! Okay. It looks like they fortified there. Right, so a Burgundy force has pushed from the north against me. We are really not favoured to win. So let's retreat. Will they give chase? That's what I'm curious to see. Ah, they've come down and defended Leon. We might just need to swing up more additional reinforcements there. Okay, so Burgundy's come down south. We've got a couple of options here. I want to continue with some more line of sight. Yeah, so the French are still hanging out here. If I siege Leon, we should be able to hit that force. Can I swing this other army up just in case if I wanted to? Nah, there's nowhere near. We're nowhere near in range. So what I'll do is I'll get you, uh, William here, my bastard brother, to swing around and siege Leon to stop the garrison coming in. Okay, and then I'll swing the king back around with our additional reinforcements. There's nothing too crazy in there, but... Yeah, and now they've fled back. Cowards. Um, I guess I could break this and then try and fight them in the open field. Burgundy. What's going up in the north here now? That unit's two turns away. Let's continue to get our um, recruitment up there done. So, we'll break the siege here with my brother. Hopefully it doesn't trickle too far back. He's not. So, we can push... Yeah, why can't you push that way? Ah, the zone of control is like protecting them. Which is a shame. Look, we're better off just to sit here and allow them to come against us, I think. Uh, let's go down... Uh, commander and then trainer rather than some of the economical stuff all right but it's interesting to see that burgundy pushed against us scotland wants a non-aggression pact i'll sign that and they fled north anyway they didn't want to hit that advanced position good they came down pushed us back reinforcements now we can take leon with relative impunity Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. Alrighty, uh, looks like we're going to be able to take Leon now, the last of the French settlement, which is fantastic. Shame there hasn't been sort of massive stacks um, that the French have. They've just been like sort of smashed by Toulouse. The, the 100 Years War didn't really sort of happen. Right, we're going to be able to take Leon now. My Imperium's now gone up adequately. Right, you can swing back. Actually, you need to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I make that decision. Right, so the French are now lawless and landless. So, Burgundy. Peace, please. Yep, they're happy to accept it. I'll just have a quick look at where their territory lies. Yeah, Switzerland and Nantes. Yeah, so there's no... Yeah, there's no real reason for me to be at war with Burgundy as there are a lot more other factions that I should go with. Wow, they're actually keen to give me a lot of negotiations there. And maybe even a reprimand payment as well. Which is good. P 
peace treaty. We'll just go with straight up trade and non-aggression then. Accepted. Good. We've got good relations with them. Alrighty. Um, what about... Yeah, so we can't make peace with the Iubids. That's now fine. Good. So we can actually swing this centrally to Orleans now. And what I'm sort of tempted to do is just to burn a couple of turns and see how the French react here. They must have another army short. Yeah, they've got one there. Because we can just sit here in our castles and wait for them to push us. Because we're in no real rush. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of another turn. Right, so my plan has worked. The French were sort of rotting away towards the end, uh, at the edge of the uh, French border here. We've sat back in my castles and waited for them to come at us. They've actually come and hit me here in Bordeaux. Now, I think I might just send the King's army down to try and finish off King Philip. There's a small army here further back, so we'll come down and finish and kill off the French King. We've got a full stack here in Bordeaux, and we've also got my own uh, fielded army inside. And they're going to flee, which isn't unsurprising. They fled all the way further back there, which is a massive pain. Um, we, uh, okay. He does still have movement points, but it's been blocked there. Alright, so we'll finish off this smaller French army here now. And then we'll deal with Philip in the north. Alright, let's uh, ransom integrity. Yeah, let's just take on warriors, I guess. And this army should be able to reach it. So let's allow King John to run down the French king. Yeah. I'm going to feel bad for the French in this series. They were absolutely woeful. Alrighty then, let's fight this one on the field of battle and finish off the French once and for all and King Philip. Looks like we're getting the Bordeaux garrison inside to help us as well. Four units of cavalry, one unit of archers and then Philip's uh, cavalry unit himself, his general unit. Right, let's uh, get stuck into this one. The Battle of Bordeaux, 1215 AD. Okay, welcome to the battle map. Okay, well, uh, it's raining, so that won't do for our archers that we're going to need to use. It's a dry day now, we'll take that. Alright, let's go with a straight up encirclement, a nice strong long front line, and we'll allow my archers just to go loose formation and sit behind. Go something like this as well with our cavalry, and we'll just try and, and straight up encircle the enemy. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> the enemy foe. Oh, god, that goddamn misclick. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We'll just start and push up. Archers target the enemy king. And then we'll try and pivot there as well. Oh, my reinforcements have actually got them on the flank massively. They're probably going to go for general sniping along with us. I'm not surprised. So trying to swing everyone up there. Alright, let's have a look at what we're coming up against. Small garrison there. There's King Philip. I imagine. Or is King... Oh no, King Philip's here with the crown. Oh, there he is. <laughs> it was just a randomly generated general. Now there is King Philip. Alright, we're going to take that crown and melt it down. And add it to our own. Uh, cavalry's now coming in. We're flanking our infantry is coming in as well, along with our reinforcements. A thousand acres and a lordship. That's the rule <laughs> for a a king's head. Hopefully, my arrows can sort of take them out. All right. Let's try and move. Yeah, something like that. That'll do. Try and go like this and get the rest of my archers up here. We'll try and be cowards and skirmish them out. Right, let's speed things up. Target the general. Litter them with arrows. 
wish they had just a little bit more range. Uh, what are they doing? Just seems to be moving out a bit. Hit that then if you're not going to target the king. Loose! Swing back here. Counter charge it then. Make we make sure we surround and envelop them. Archers need to target their general again. Bring him down, bring him down. A French charge is coming in. For faults! He's actually getting stuck right into the thick of it as well, the French king. Trying to take as many Englishmen down as possible. <laughs> Alrighty. That's now being taken. Right, fall back here. Wow, my morale is shocking for these units. They've actually been caught there. I'll quickly give out the orders because I want to get the cinematic shots of me actually attacking the the English, uh, the uh, French king. Yeah, try and go for something like that. Right. While the rest of you swing down into this. Get my archers to like hit theirs or something. Our king can sit back. Alrighty. Stop firing. Bring the king down. Bring him down. Wherever he may be. Not entirely sure where the French king is. But he must be in there somewhere. Our men have rallied. Just want to make sure we get the notification when we kill him. He's in there somewhere getting slaughtered. The enemy general is dead. We got him. Make sure Henry's safe and further back. But King Philip, on that note, is dead. Quickly go deal with this. That's now broken. God, those heavy cavalry charges nearly caught us there. Victory! We have victory here today. And we killed the French king. 219 to their 143. Oh, man, oh, man. Their cavalry did a little bit towards the end there. 136, 35, 39. They were fighting to the bitter end. To death of their country. To the death of their country. I don't blame them. Okay, guys. Welcome back. A decisive victory. We have defeated the French here today. Well, the king, that is. Let's take on the replen replenishment straight up. And there still seems to be this army down here in uh, Toulouse now. Did we get that military access in the end with them? No, but we can get it. And I'm going to quickly ask for it as we'll finish off the French here today. They're still continuing to run, but we'll be right. This must be their last army as well. And yep, that's it. I think she's all over. Red or over. The French are defeated. Yep, they're done and dusted. Well, guys, on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thanks for watching. We've taken the entirety of France here today. Lyon, Orleans, Paris, and Normandy. And we need to basically look, look now to probably securing the British Isles, probably taking out Scotland, Wales, and Ireland in the next episode. Unless you guys want me to continue in France, sending the army is actually already here. Pushing against Toulouse, Provence, some of the duchies here, Burgundy potentially. After that, down into Iberia, or maybe over into the Holy Roman Empire. They still seem to be at war with a lot of factions. Poland, Bavaria, Norway, Austria, uh, Sicily. They still have maintained a lot of their puppets under Emperor Otto. But it'll be interesting to see how well they do. So, King John is currently 48. We're currently strength ranked 2. The Iubids are currently 1st. Sicily 7th. Portugal 11th. The only ally we have is Flanders. But we are at war with the Iubids and Mecca still for now. Hope you've enjoyed this England campaign as much as I've had. I've had a pretty decent blast. We've had a good, we've got a good episode here today. Had the Siege of Paris. We've also managed to finish off and kill the French King by my own hands. By King John's own hands. We're getting our loyalty back up as well. We haven't had our Barons Alliance or Civil War. We've managed to avoid that. My son, King Henry, is 8 as well. Richard is 6. Joanne is 5. And my bastard brother, William, 39. 
So what we'll do now is build up. We will go and dive into construction. We'll do a couple turns off camera. Just I need to sort out and min max what I like. Oh, that sucks. I the Bordeaux got attacked. <laughs> so it like broke everything inside. We'll make preparations and prepares probably to go against the British Isles because you, you want to secure your rear. You know what I mean? You don't want to push too far south just yet. But uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand and conquer. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notes notifications for the channel you have to click the bell of course to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the steam group come and join the community on steam and on that note unfortunately i have to end the video here thank you very much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is ben simsey goodbye